Hi, this is Kristen Goodrich, and I am the EXO at Planting Roots, and today we're going to be talking with Sharita from the Army Wife Network, and she's going to be sharing a bit about what they do and uh, ways that uh, they're working within the military community at large, and so we do really appreciate their sponsorship of our Strength to Thrive event. Um, so Sharita, just tell me a little bit about yourself and, uh, and your organization. Thank you so much, Kristen. It is a pleasure to be here. We are super excited to partner with you all this year for Strength to Thrive. Uh, as Kristen mentioned, I am Sharita Knobloch, Army Wife Network owner and commander. I have been with Army Wife Network for about seven years now and started out as a blogger. And as they say, it escalated quickly over the last seven years, um, just moved into different positions and about a year and a half ago, stepped into the position of owner and commander. So, um, middle spouse of about 10 years. I am working on my doctorate in pastoral care and counseling from Liberty University. So deep in the throes of dissertation writing right now, our family is uh, currently living in El Paso, Texas. So sort of stationed at Fort Bliss. We were stationed at Fort Bliss, pseudo PCS the last summer because my husband switched jobs and he's now a, an instructor for ROTC at New Mexico State University. I have two little kids, an eight-year-old daughter and four-year-old son. Really enjoy working out, running, hiking, uh, office pins, you know, office supplies, <laughs> inky pins, that's all, journals, all that good stuff. Big, big that's, nerd here. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure you've put some of those skill sets to use uh, and, and to practice at Army Wife Network. Tell us about the organization and where you guys have come from and where you're, where you're active at the moment. Army Life Network is a worldwide organization. It's all online, which is super convenient for the transient life that is military life, right? And we serve military spouses, veterans, their families, and their children, anyone that's supportive or wants to learn more about the military across all six branches now. We started back in 2005 with Army Wife Talk Radio. So this marks, um, this month actually, April, marks our 16th year on the air for broadcasting our podcast. I always joke that AWN, AWTR was podcasting before podcasting was cool because I wasn't listening to podcasts in 2005. I didn't know it was a thing. Right. So over the years, uh, it kind of developed. There was a blog. And in 2009, it all came together under one umbrella called Army Wife Network. So hmm. we've been around for quite a while. Again, we're all volunteer powered. We have volunteers around the world. I think last count, we had about 40 volunteers at 20 something different duty stations, six different countries. Our organization is based on four pillars, engage, educate, encourage, and empower. So empowerment is really what we want to look at because from a military spouse perspective, sometimes it feels like the opposite of empowerment is deprived because we don't mm -hmm. get to choose where we live, choose you know what our spouses do or don't do. There's a lot of not get to's in that. And so we really work hard with engagement, education, and encouragement to help shift that mindset, provide resources, and um, kind of that feeling of solidarity. So people know, mill spouses know they're not alone and that we're actually empowered, whether that's with our careers, how we parent, where we do live, how we make friends, how we tap into our faith, and just those resources that we need to thrive in this military spouse life. That's great. And I know that you guys have a, a, a huge uh, library of video of blogs rather um, mm -hmm. and, and lots of podcast content. So there's all, all ranges of topics, but you did mention that there was uh, on a, um, that there's an overlap with, uh, with planting roots. Tell our mm -hmm. audience about where, where Army Wife Network would overlap with the planting roots community. Well, obviously we're here to serve the same, a very similar demographic. We want to provide support, resources, encouragement, insight to those mm -hmm. military spouses and also prior service veterans, active duty, you know, all components. It's like, that's what we want to like serve both of the organizations. Like our missions are very similar in that way that we don't want military spouses and those cohorts of military families to feel like they're alone, like they're isolated, because this lifestyle can be discouraging and overwhelming, especially as a new male spouse, when you love the service member, 
but you feel like you have no idea what's going on and you're just making it up as you go. And the cool part is with both planting roots and army wife network, you've got a team of folks, resources, whether that's over 800 podcasts or 2,600 blogs and the things that planting roots offers, they're there to help you support you in your journey for success, empowerment, and, you know, deepening those resources you might need to thrive in your mill's house journey. That's awesome. There are some ways, though, that Planting Roots and Army Wife Network are distinct and different from each other. Can you elaborate a little bit on some of those unique characteristics that Army Wife Network offers uh, the community? Yeah, I feel like that Army Wife Network is very, very broad. It's a very broad umbrella. We cover, honestly, with 2,600 blogs, like name a topic, we've probably got something on it. And so we're very, very broad PCSs, deployments, parenting, mental health, retirement, command sponsorship, just all of these resources that are very broad that can apply to all seasons of life. And I feel like planting roots really fills that gap when it comes to spirituality and um, resilience through perhaps faith. So We've been able to collaborate with you all in the past. It has been mm -hmm. a joy, absolute privilege when we had Corey on our podcast last year, and then also with Planting Roots, contributing blogs on occasion to our archive, sharing about those pieces of spirituality and helping us continue to broaden our resources and fill those gaps for those individuals who are interested in tapping into their faith or spirituality in this military spouse experience. Yeah, and that's what I love is that... Uh, we're all both about wanting to just equip and encourage our communities uh, of which military women are part of this military life. And so while Planting Roots has a more narrow focus, as you said, your Army Wife Network has a broad overarching focus of audience. We have a more narrow one with women, both in uniform and military wives, as well as other women just part of the military community. But we, I love that we can share resources and encourage one another across mm -hmm. the different um, sort of metrics that we're, we're targeting in terms of audience. But it is, it has been a joy to, to collaborate with you guys on, you know, a variety of things, like you mentioned, some podcasts, some, some blogs and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's again, that our, our overarching goal is to support uh, the military community. And, and there is, there is something to be said for longevity while the, while the situations can vary from year to year or decade to decade, yep. it still almost always has a root cause or root issue at heart. Communication, whether it was through snail mail or through FaceTime, it's still mm -hmm. often a communication issue that's through a different platform, perhaps. And so I love that we have this, while, while distinct, we also have this overlap. So and one, I was just going to jump ahead. in. One really interesting thing, you talk about kind of that, transition or the growth over the decades. And um, one thing that's interesting about Army Wife Network, even though our title is, quote, Army Wife, we have really branched out over the last 16 years. And now we don't just serve those in the branch of the Army with the wife title. So we actually serve male and female spouses. And again, as I mentioned, across all components, active duty, National Guard, reserve, retired, prior service, ETS, um, and then again, the actual spouses, the service members themselves, businesses who want to support or nonprofits that have those resources, and also military children. So we really have our, you know, have our, have our feelers out in a lot of different directions just because it's all those components are such an important part of the military spouse experience, the military lifestyle. And so that's been really neat to watch that grow over the years as well. Right. Yeah. And uh, so taking uh, piggybacking off that idea of growth, um, we've all had an opportunity to grow this past year. Uh, this year for Planning Roots, our theme is rise up out of the uh, taken from the book of Nehemiah, chapter two, verse 18. And it's the focus of this particular virtual event, uh, Strength to Thrive conference. Tell me, um, how does that how does the idea, the notion of rising up speak to you and your team uh, and how might that apply to the audience? When I saw your theme this year, I kind of chuckled a little bit because I was like, name someone over the last year who hasn't had to 
rise up kind of that version of mandatory fun this is like mandatory growth and i wrote a blog years ago on army wife network talking about the difference of why it's called growing pains and not growing parties as much as i would love for it to be a growing party a lot of that rising up experience often is a little bit painful or you know at, at the least it's definitely difficult i think we see that in general with the military spouses military women with the need to be adaptable and flexible and roll with what I call the no plan plan. Here's the plan. It's kind of a plan. It's probably going to change. What does that look like for us? So for myself, for my incredible command team working so hard behind the scenes, I feel like Rise Up really speaks to us, not only this last year with the difficulties and challenges with COVID-19, whether that was PCSing during a pandemic, deployment extensions, surprise, your home slash virtual pseudo schooling your children. Um, you know, just a lot of those different things that we've had to conquer and navigate. But then also those big moments in life, whether that's loss or grief or not being able to be present um, when someone is ill or mm-hmm. PCSing, giving birth without our service members there. You know, there's a lot of things that military spouses rise up every day in kind of, I guess you would say the mundane, but also we're called to rise up in the major moments. And that's what we hope to do here at Army Wife Network is to provide the support and resources for when those big or small moments happen, because they will, um, for military spouses that need to rise up, we'll be there to support them and kind of maybe even give them a little bit of a boost. That's awesome. In closing, is there something that you're hoping that our audience of whether military uniform women or military wives or any, again, women in the military community, what would they gain from engaging with uh, Army Wife Network going forward? Well, ideally, we would hope they'd come to our website, armywifenetwork.com, or follow us on social media, Facebook, tw- Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram at Army Wife Network, and they would see First of all, they would realize, wow, I'm not alone. Solidarity. Like, we are embracing the suck together. And, you know, I have a tribe, whether that's in real life, IRL, or online URL, we have a tribe that wants to support one another. I also hope that um, folks that engage with us will realize the gamut of resources we have for them, that all they have to do is search and find it out. And if there's not something on our website, dropping us an email, info at armywifenetwork.com. We answer all of those emails. And sometimes it takes our entire team to be like, I don't know this, you know, this person said he's graduating from, you know, our service members graduating from basic. And then they're not married yet, but they will be before orders are cut and they're PCSing overseas. And so helping them get connected with the resources and the no plan plan to execute that Uh, season of their military spouse journey. And finally, I hope that um, they get the resources to thrive, not just survive, like find that strength to thrive in their season through some of the lighter resources that we share. We share, I'm biased, but I think they're funny. We share funny graphics of that solidarity experience um, on our social media and I personally use sense of humor a lot to cope. And so we try to do funny reels on AWN that's just like military life truth. Yes, four stages of how to respond when your service member says, I got news, denial, panic, emotional eating, fake it till you make it. And so just providing that opportunity to laugh with one another, to bring some levity to something that seems so heavy and so serious sometimes. Absolutely. And that encouragement to uh, to enjoy the ride, even though it's bumpy at times, is, is really key. And so uh, from on behalf of Planning Roots, uh, we do really appreciate the, the camaraderie and the co- co-laboring together to, to resource our communities, to, to build stronger relationships and individuals who are experiencing this challenging military life. Our Mean at Wife mm-hmm. Network is doing such great work, and we're so thankful for your sponsorship at this Strength to Thrive conference. So we just thank you, Sharita. And we just encourage our uh, you viewers uh, to just go ahead and pop on over to any one of their platforms and check out their resources. I'm sure you will be encouraged and blessed. So thank you for that. And uh, well, just check them out. Take care. Thank you.